and I like our coffee at 180 degrees, and I'm talking to Clayton Alexander of Ember Technologies, who claims to have the solution to that problem. Yes, we do. You can actually adjust it right here on the bottom of the mug and set it to any temperature that you like, and it keeps your coffee at that exact temperature within a one degree tolerance. So this is a mug, this is audio and video by the way, so this is a mug in his hand that's got an LED display that says 138 degrees, and, you can and it says it up. he's doing a touch screen on it to wake it up and change yep. so you can see the temperature? That is correct, yes. So it'll. So when you pour in your coffee, it will tell you the temperature, <laughs> oh, when you pour in your coffee, it will tell you the actual temperature of the coffee that you poured in, so you can be aware, right, is it too hot, is it going to burn my mouth, and then it has a rapid cooling system that will rapidly drop the coffee, the temperature, down to your set point, and then once it hits your set point, it'll hold it there for hours on end. So what about the other way around? What if they make it at 165, which drives me nuts. I want 180. Yes. yes, it'll ramp it right on up. And you can even take a can of Campbell's soup, room temp, pour it in, and heat it right up. Oh, that's crazy. So how does it do all this? Okay, we have a ton of science inside here. Oh, we it's, have, a, it's a mug full of science. Yeah, it's a mug full of science. <laughs> So most of the technology is loaded. I thought it was witchcraft until you said it was science. <laughs> we like to say there's a lot of magic within the Umber mug um, because we, we have this beautiful industrial design uh, from Ammunition. They're the firm that brought you the Beats headphones, uh, the Polaroid camera, a lot of the beautiful new products you see on the market. You can see it kind of has that beautiful industrial design to it. We wanted to hide the technology so that it's more about the coffee drinking experience and less about the nerdy stuff, right? So, but what is the nerdy stuff? The nerdy stuff. Okay, so we have a seven sensor uh, uh, electronically controlled heating system inside that basically is constantly measuring the temperature of the coffee and maintaining it at that perfect temperature. We have a, a, a low power belt uh, heating band and a high power heating band and we've got an induced convection current in there so that it keeps the, the liquid at an even temperature from top to bottom. Yeah, like it wouldn't said, be that good of if, if it was hot at the bottom and cold exactly. at the top. And that's part of the problem that we solved originally when we were in the lab five years ago trying to figure out how do we make a temperature controlled vessel that you can carry around there's a, there's a separation in temperature from the high to the low and so we've solved that through inducing a convection current. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a battery in it? Yeah, it's the same as in your cell phone. So how do you charge the uh, the Ember mug because it, it looks too coaster. sleek. It sits on a coaster and that's it. So it's got no induct wires. inductive uh, We we were going to use inductive but we're moving 35 watts across so we're using gold plated contacts on the bottom. Okay, can you zoom in on that, Steve? Interesting. So, uh, when you can you buy spare coasters? Yes, absolutely. Because we think people will buy one for their office, and it comes with one that you'll keep on your counter at your house. Exactly what I was thinking about. Oh yeah, when is this going to be available? Okay, we're shipping the first units to our pre-order customers in April. But if you bought one like today on our website, you'd get it in May. Okay, cool. And how much is the Ember mug? One hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Woo, that's a lot of Starbucks. That's right. Well, people say, why is it so expensive? And I say, because it's the best. <laughs> That's a good note to end on. Thank also, you very much. people oh. are spending about $1,000 a year on coffee at Starbucks. La, 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 so la, la. I don't want to hear blah, it. So why don't you want us do it justice? All right, let's get a good zoom in on that uh, on the uh, display there, because that's cool. Now, you can turn that off, right? Yeah, you just touch the Ember logo. Touch the Ember logo. Very cool. All right, thank you very much, Clayton. Good okay. luck to you. <laughs> Great to meet you.